What's going on, you guys? It is your boy John Wazo here. Uh, today I'm gonna review of I just saw the WWE No Mercy. It was just finished like a couple of minutes ago, and I saw the whole thing. Some match was very good. Um, some match was not that good. But today I'm just gonna review, you know, what I thought about the um the match. You know, I got said that some was very good, some was not that good. So. I just want to do a review about the match because I'm a huge fan of WWE. Like I said, that the match was amazing. Some was just like boring, sucks, you know. So I'm gonna to talk to you anyway. So, okay, the first match I want to talk to you about is The Miz and Jason Jordan. Of course, Jason. Of course, nobody wants Jason Jordan to become the Intercontinental Champion because he suck. You know, he's like he's trying to be, you know, the biggest superstar, you know, in WWE since when he left the SmackDown Live that Kurt Angle announced that his all his long lost son was actually Jason Jordan. I don't believe that. I think it's full of crap. So I got said that it, it was a, it was OK match of the Miz and Jason Jordan for the Intercontinental Champion. Now, of course, thanks to um, one of them, Mr. Raj of Kurt Axel Punch. Uh, Jason into the face and the Miz one two three still the Intercontinental Champion. You know, it was okay that match, but I gotta say to the Miz for him to congratulation for him to become a dad. I know it's very excited for him. You know to become a first dad and with with Maurice. You know I just want to say congratulations to him and congratulations for him still the Intercontinental Champion. And the other one was. Actually, was uh not that good. Was Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt? I'm sick of tired of these two fight each other over, over, over again. The one at uh, SummerSlam was very good, and now No Mercy, bleh, not that, not that good fight. But of course, the 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 one was very, very good. Would with, with Bray Wyatt attack Finn Balor with, with his um? When he entered the ring and Bray Wyatt attacks Finn Balor, and of course that Bray Wyatt beat the hell of Finn Balor so bad, of course he just walked away, and then Bray Wyatt said to Finn Balor that he's a coward. I believe that he is a coward. So, but what happened? He got pissed off and got into the ring, beat the hell of Bray Wyatt and punch punch like beating the hell of Bray Wyatt, and then one two three he won against Bray Wyatt. So, what can I say? Congratulations to. Finn Balor for be the hell of Bray Wyatt. I was both for Bray Wyatt because I'm sick and tired of Finn Balor. I don't like Finn Balor. So the one was very good was the War Tag Team Champions of D Ambrose and Sevon versus Sheamus and Cesaro. That was the that was an awesome match. I really liked that match. The one was very very shocked when they showed the clips of I didn't know that that Cesaro got busted his mouth it was bleeding that actually that he lost some of his tooth and they showed the uh, the clips of it and I was like ooh I was like ooh myself you know it was a good match I was both for um D Ambrose and Seth Rollins to be still the world tag team champion and they did they won against uh Sheamus and Cesaro it was an awesome match I just want to say congratulations to Seth Rollins and D Ambrose of that match that was a very awesome match and the one was very good. It was okay, but some people say it was very good. The failed five-way match for the War Women's Champion. I was go for Alexa Bliss or Emma. You know, it was it was okay match, but a lot of people want uh, Nia Jax become the War Women's Champion. But it was it was a good good match when they fight each other. But they just want to. Um, Get Nia Jax out of the ring so the rest of them could fight easily, you know. But like I said, that Emma was try her best, you know, because a lot of people want Emma try, you know, her, you know, try to become first time of women's champion or something because you know she haven't been women's champion like that. But she tried. But when Alexa Bliss did the um, DDT on Bailey and one two three, that she's still the. Women's champion, I gotta say to congratulations to Alexa Bliss because I said she is a beautiful woman. I gotta say for her, congratulations for still be still the war women's champion. 
The one was very, very good match, and I was pissed off. The one was a good match is John Cena versus Roman Reigns. I was vote for uh, John Cena. Uh, a lot of people chant them, you both suck. And uh, John Cena was about to lead the uh, the ring. It's because uh, what well, the universe said to them that they both suck. That, and then they said, delete, delete. And John Cena was like doing a joke that he's leaving the ring. And Roman pissed off and he got into a go outside the... Uh, the, the ring and trying to get John Cena back into the ring because that John Cena think he's funny. So a woman's pissed off that woman thinks that John Cena think is funny. So they're fighting and the one was, it was very, the one was very, very good where John Cena did the, um, the, uh, his finishing move on woman wings like four or five times. The attitude adjustment, you know, it was, I was, it was like four or five times that he did to woman wings and then he kick out on two, you know, it was, it was sucked. And then woman wings, you know, spear and a Superman punch on John Cena. And then one, two, three, woman wings won the match. And some people disappointed, some people uh, happy for woman wings because some people like woman wings. Some people like John Cena. I like John Cena. I don't like woman wings. So congratulations to woman wings, you know, for being the hell, uh, the 16, 16 or 17 time. Uh, champion John Cena. John Cena was a great superstar of all time, and you beat the hell of the greatest superstar. Uh, the other one was very suck and boring. Was Neville versus Enzo Mamori. It was so stupid match, so boring. Enzo think that he's so funny, like he think he's so funny in the uh, the match. You know, when he dressed up like Beetlejuice, the uniforms, whatever. The way he dressed up, like he think he's funny. It, the match was so boring. And then when Enzo grabbed the uh, the Cruiserweight Champion, but he didn't win. He just grabbed it and showed to Neville in the ring. And Neville was, was pissed off because Enzo was probably about to steal the belt or run away with the belt or something. When Enzo got into the ring with that belt... And the referee said, if you hit him with a bell, you will be the score fight. So what happened? Enzo gave the bell back. And then he and Enzo kick Neville into his um you know, you know, groins like that. And then he covered Neville then one, two, three. And then and you know, I got like I said, that Enzo is the new uh cruiserweight champion. That match was so stupid. And he's trying to he's trying and he cheat. He's cheated. You know, he, he, he needs to fight for real, you know, he just, but he's cheated. Like the late, great, uh, Eddie Grohl, where he lied, cheated, and steal, you know. But now Enzo do the same thing like Eddie Grohl, he cheat. So he cheats for become the first time ever, first time ever champion. Now he's the first time ever Cruiserweight champion, uh, Enzo Mawari. So congratulations to him for, for cheat and win the match. The one was okay, but they should keep that match going, going. But it was like like ten minutes. They should keep that match going. Is um Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman. They should keep that match going. You know, it was I do, I was go for Braun Strowman because Braun Strowman could beat the hell of Brock Lesnar. And what can I say? Brock Lesnar did the um, so many of the Suplex City on Braun Strowman. The first one he did, and he got up, uh, Strowman, and he was choke slam uh, Brock Brock Lesnar. And and Brock Lesnar did so many times on the Suplex City, and he's doing the uh, the move where he breaks the people's arm like that. He did it on Braun Strowman, and Braun Strowman grabbed the uh, the rope, and and I was like. That this match is almost is almost finished, but they should keep that match longer. And then with Brock Lesnar grab Strowman and do the F5, and I say it can't be finished. And then he covered uh, uh, Strowman one, two, three. That Brock Lesnar is still the Universal Champion. I was like, what the hell? They, they should keep that match longer, you know, because Braun Strowman is like um like. You know, an animal. He could beat the hell anybody. Like any matches, he fights longer matches, like Roman Reigns, like that. Why did he not do like for Brock Lesnar? Braun Strowman should beat the hell of 
Brock Lesnar, he should have become the first ever the Universal Champion, but Braun Strowman won? I mean, Braun Strowman lost? What kind of match was that? You know, that should keep that match longer. Some people is not that happy. You know, people tired of Brock Lesnar be still the Universal Champion. He won since March. Since March when he won against Goldberg at WrestleMania. Now this is September. It's almost about to be October. You know, let somebody else be the new champion. And now Brock Lesnar still the Universal Champion. I was, I was, you know, go for Braun Strowman to be the first ever be the, uh, to become the new, the Universal Champion. And what happened? Brock Lesnar F5, Braun Strowman, I was like, can't be. And he covered uh, Strowman 1, 2, 3, and the match was over. I gotta say, some match was okay, some match was not that good. But it was okay, the pay-per-view. It was very good. I gotta say, one of my favorite match, I'll pick some of my, the matches I like, is the, the War Tag Team Champions, John Cena and Woman Wings. That's only two I pick. That's only two that I picked that I like because the rest of them was like, okay, but the ending with uh, Lesnar and Strowman, that should have keep that match longer because that stupid, the, um, the Cruiserweight match. It was so stupid, you know. But they should keep that match longer of the uh, Universal Champion, like 20 or 30 minutes. Because we want to see like tables or busted blood, you know, from each other of Strowman or Lesnar like that. But what, what, what the hell, you know, it was, it was okay. The show, the show was very good. It was okay. But that's all one of my, my I want to review about the WWE No Mercy. So thank you so much. Like, subscribe. Thank you so much, and please follow me on Twitter. It's in the link below. You just click it and follow me. So thank you so much, and take care. Peace.